This current um, award that we're offering has really started since 2012, when the Commonwealth um, realized that it, it's so important to invest in the work of young people as development partners. So we really started to really put great emphasis on the work of young people since 2012 with these youth awards in development work. We're going to hear about some of those young people in a moment. Yes. But just tell me, what does this award give the young person? Well, the award above everything else gives a, a huge recognition to the work and contribution of young people. For many years young people have been doing exceptionally good work, especially development work and humanitarian service at country level without the recognition and the, you know the dignity that goes with that. So this award gives that kind of prestige to a young person who's working so hard without finances, without support. It raises their profile sometimes to even meet with their leaders, leaders at country level. But in addition to that we give an award, um, a, a physical award, and cash support for the um, selected winners so that they can reinvest in their development projects. Now, Julius, you're one of the finalists. Uh, you started really young. At nine years old, you started your um, entrepreneurial skills. Yes, yes. Uh, Tell us about that. Uh, I remember uh, when I was nine years old, I went to my mom, my auntie, and I went to ask her, um, can I have some money, pocket money, to go and spend at school? But my auntie's family was big. And my uncle didn't have enough income to support the family at that time. So the only thing I could do was to, to, to help my auntie farm, like, like in the small garden, and use the produce to sell them in the street and get money so that I can go and, uh, and buy myself uh, uniforms and other things. Okay. And, and then what's led on from that? Talk to us about your company, Director. Yeah. When I was doing that at, a, at a 90 years old, I didn't know what entrepreneurship was. I came to learn about entrepreneurship when I went to South Africa at a school called African Leadership Academy. The school is the one which really opened my eyes. When I went, I went there, I was learning about entrepreneurship, leadership, and African studies. What was the core skill that you learned at this? Because this is a famous school, this, isn't yeah, it? Yes, it's a, we were the, among the first, first students in that school. Um, and this I was, is building future African yeah, leaders. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I, I, I saw what the school was teaching us, I said, this is something very important. But my fellow young people in Tanzania, they're not getting this opportunity because I'm the only one from, or we were just few of us from Tanzania. So how can I go and implement this in my own country in a better way? Okay. So that's when the idea of Darecha came about. Okay, so what are you doing? So what I do, Darecha is actually a micro venture capital. It's different from microfinance. What we do, we offer uh, capital, not in terms of uh, requiring uh, interest rate, but we're offering capital in the way we share revenue when young people execute their projects and generate revenue from that. Mm -hmm. so, but in the way that we train them about uh, entrepreneurship skills and other skills, uh, from there then we are able to work together and uh, collect revenue and share the revenue. Mm -hmm. So, Lane, we, we, if we look at Africa, I mean, yes. I know you're, you're talking about the whole of the Commonwealth, but if we look at Africa as a whole and you look at the demographics of Africa, yes. it's the young people, is. Uh, which is this huge demographic with people yes. without jobs. Yeah. And this is a resource. I mean, we talk about, you know, China and all these places coming in and, and taking the resources of Africa. Yes. This is its key resource. Yes. And, and is this about that? It's exactly about that. It's about tapping into the rich resource of our countries. The greatest asset in all the Commonwealth is the young people. In Indeed, 60% of all our Commonwealth countries um, is comprised of young people, but in Africa it's about 70%. So what that means is that our countries, our governments, our leaders must begin to work with young people as partners in the development of Africa. And um, Julius and the many other youth leaders from that region are the people we are promoting and asking countries and leaders to work alongside. And do you think the leaders are getting that message? They are certainly getting that. I've just returned from a, a, a youth minister's meeting in Cameroon just in February and the ministers wholeheartedly agreed that this is the direction to go. And so they agreed to reinvest and support the young people as leaders in making Africa what it's supposed to be. And that's just fantastic news. Now, Julius, you believe in collective development. Yes. You, and in fact, wherever you seem to have gone, whatever you've done, <laughs> you seem to be incredibly good it's at true. collaborating with yes. people. I mean, even on your African leadership development course, you, you got together and you yes. started that. Is that what Africa certainly needs, is for different countries to talk to each other and not just be islands unto themselves. Definitely, definitely. Africa needs collective development yes. and I strongly believe in that. You know, uh, when you look at it, you find that you have a government here and you have people here, but the gov government does not communicate very well with its people. 
Mm. And at the end of the day, you find maybe something is broken out there, which was built by the government. People don't, they don't want to fix it because the, it's the government responsibility. But when you bring collective mm. development, you find the government collaborating with its mm. people and bring about development. That's right. so, and that could go to the level of the continent, where one country collaborating with another country. Mm. We are neighbors. Why shouldn't we work together? Why shouldn't we open our boundaries? Why do I need a visa to go to another country in the African continent? Why do I have to go to Europe to go to another African country? <laughs> That's a question I've been always asking myself. And since I was very young, I've believed in that. We need collective development to move our continent forward. Well, we're with you. Wish you both well. Yeah. And uh, happy Commonwealth Day on Thank Monday. You. On actually, Monday. actually, actually, um, next, so on Tuesday, we will have the Youth Awards being announced finally. And that's when we'll, the world will know who the winners are. Julius yeah. is just one final. Oh, good luck. So, um, good luck. Good luck. Of course, so we invite everybody to, to go to the Commonwealth website. It'll be a live stream, the award ceremony, on Tuesday at 11 GMT, so that they can see um, who the finalists or the winners of the Commonwealth Youth Awards for 2015 will be.